welcome to the video my friends first up i'd like to apologize for the mid-section of my last doom video there was a bit of a stutter uh, it was fine in the gameplay not a single stutter so far i've experienced and i've got quite far now and the video recording was fine but the processing on youtube may have had a little bit of a hiccup i'm not sure uh, there's a lot of people using the internet now so maybe the processing i know they're reducing quality or something on youtube so maybe that could have caused an issue i'm not quite sure but doom eternal um makes you feel like a badass it's um yeah when a game makes you feel like the character in the game and uh makes you feel like a badass and makes you feel um like you've accomplished something uh which which doom eternal does greatly and, and doom 2016 had that feeling but doom eternal is is tenfold that feeling uh the cutscenes work yes we get to see the doom slayer now the the face through the through the visor he gives like a death stare in the cutscenes and things like that it looks badass like just the intro the music the 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 retro remix uh, the the doom doom theme at the beginning uh, if you see my last video i was pretty hyped i was pretty excited and um <laughs> yeah it's just uh that all the way through it does have slow moments you have moments where it's more um level design and puzzles and traversal you have slow slow moments where you got to jump from swinging poles and climbing and grappling on walls and things like that with your just pure grip strength and uh, it has boss fights uh there was one boss fight where it threw one boss at you and it was like a big build up but you fought that which was pretty tough straight after it throws just two more at the same time at you and i was like ah oh, great uh, but i managed to pull through eventually uh first time honestly and uh, yeah um playing on ultra violence i think is is the way to go though it's um i think it's just going to be too easy on the others and if you spent you know 60 dollars on a game you want you want your money's worth out of it and i think ultra violence does that i'll give it a little go on nightmare at some point but hmm it, it, it can be hard enough on ultra violence sometimes when there's too many but the thing is you've got a there's there's a tactical way of playing you've got to think in, in in doom eternal the same as you did in doom 2016 but even more so so you've got to combine your attacks your, your flamethrower for armor and your you know your melee your, your glory kill for health and your chainsaw for ammo and otherwise you're going to run out you get cornered quite often i mean there's there's some clips here with me from one section of the game just dying over and over again until i remembered oh yeah i've got a flamethrower chainsaw I'm running out of ammo and health and armor here. Like, why am I not using them? And then I remembered, you know, let's just use them. So we used them and uh, pulled through eventually. And But you get better. You get better uh, as you play. And it does get slightly easier because you have upgrades for your weapons. And you can level up those weapon upgrades. And then you master those weapons. Uh, so I think the, the uh, super shotgun, I've mastered that now. So it's a flame meat hook. Um, which then also gives you extra armor when you flame to somebody and shoot them with the super shotgun i think i've done the normal um assault shotgun now i think that's mastered and i'm close to mastering some of the other things as well the chain gun and things like that so once you've mastered those and you've leveled up your character in in you know there's loads of different ways you can level them up and you obviously you can increase health armor ammo um which you gotta do you gotta do there's not enough ammo uh, at some points in the game you need that big pool of ammo to sift through and you keep using that chainsaw keep refueling it get that ammo back in you gotta but it feels so good when you when you get smooth cinematic style you know kill streaks on all the demons you feel like a badass their facial expressions when you do a glory kill and they're like mistakes were made in their facial expression you know they're like oh crap uh, this is the doom slayer i'm fighting here and uh he's just he's just taking names so you feel like a badass there's a lot of lore a lot of lore in this one so uh, obviously 2016 kind of shoved that at, to the wayside um you know doom um has always been like story has never been at the forefront it's always been the gameplay um action fast paced demon slaying rip and tear uh this one has got a lot more lore in it a lot more story 2016 did have lore and story but this one uh even more so there's a lot of lore pages you can collect as we've seen the flaming pages uh some of them are hidden away a lot of secrets you can get toys records um uh, cheat codes which come on floppy disks and the records are on actual vinyl he pulls them out of the sleeve that's pretty pretty sweet loads of easter eggs i came across the dope fish at one point uh stuck in like an icy cave thingy smashed through and there was a secret in there oh dope fish oh i just slapped smack smacked him in the mouth dope dope oh that was a lovely little secret we found there ladies and gentlemen 
there's loads of that stuff though loads of little easter eggs dotted all about and uh it, it kept that uh mortally challenged little joke in there which was good because a lot of people kicked off over that the old snowflake so it's, it's good to see they didn't back down on that one and kept it in and it's all about the rip and tear really and and the music oh my god it fits so well in my opinion i know it's not everybody's taste but mm -mm -mm. Yeah, when it when them tunes kick in and especially that 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 original doom theme remix oh that got me that got me I, i've played doom since 93 what was i then seven ish yeah so um my dad's always had pc and i've had uh, i watched him play doom i played doom uh shareware um wolfenstein as well we played the original wolfenstein 3d so it's um a long time a good through good few years we've been uh, doom fans and uh, i own it on pretty much every platform i have playstation uh and sega saturn i think i've got it on did it ever come out on saturn i know i know i've got it on a lot of platforms pc several different copies switch i bought them all on switch again recently uh, and doom 64 because i've never played doom 64 the only one i never played um so yeah it's just a uh, huge long time doom fan here uh doom 3 i hmm I don't know. I'd like Doom 3, and it was a it was a, a masterclass in, you know, uh, ingenuity, ingenuity, engineering, technology, um, what they created there, you know, John Carmack and his uh, wizardry and the engine. It was mind-blowing back then, 2003-ish. So, you know, that was amazing, but I didn't really play it too much. It gave me the heebie-jeebies. too dark for me, but this one's a bit brighter. I know a lot of people are, are going to prefer 2016's darker look and Doom 3's darker look. I know there's already some comments about that the darker look they missed that darker scarier doom um but this for me just the little bit it does have those moments where you're like oh snap and you and you jump and it, it's had me a few times especially with those bloody tentacle things coming out of the ground and whipping you um but yeah it's just it's, it's a bit brighter um obviously there's a lot of colors with your pickups and things like that just so you don't miss them you can see what's going on and um it's just uh it's just fast-paced action it makes you feel like a badass you are the doom slayer you are the doom guy and uh it's just i recommend it i i've had so much fun so far I, I'm, I'm not too far from the end i've i've killed a couple of the hell hell uh, priests and um it's just you just uh, yeah i can't explain it so i think it's a masterpiece to be honest um they've just done amazing things with this i've not run into any bugs either um i would have said I got caught on some demons and couldn't jump away but i mean that's my fault for not moving enough i guess i i i didn't you know get out of the way and didn't get the gear and the health i needed the the ammo and shields and i just got pinned in by a mancubus and uh, here and there and killed so I, it's not really a bug but it, it did frustrate me but then i thought my fault i weren't <laughs> moving you got to keep moving you got to keep moving in doom especially on ultra violence you stop and even the basic basic zombies the cannon fodder that you used to get health and armor that, that just move slow they can have you if you do not move if you stood there just shooting they'll sneak up behind you a couple of hits you're done uh so it's you got to think you got to be fast on your feet and I, I recommend it it's um i don't regret the purchase at all at all it's super fun super slick zero performance drop on my 4790k 1070 maxed out settings i just i am impressed it takes seven they have done an amazing job um i just wanted to just air that and my feelings and and my thoughts a bit more than my previous video and a bit more footage and uh, obviously show you the some non stuttery footage because i apologize for that last video i don't know what what happened there it was all fine like i said so anyway leave a like if you enjoyed this video and um the clips that i shared uh hopefully not too spoilery I would there'll be sections in it from through the game but i won't put boss fights and things like that in there or you know anything major story line in it it'll just be purely you know rip and tear gameplay so against hordes of the demons uh, and uh yeah you are the doom slayer don't forget that uh leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you enjoy my channel and i'll see you next time with half-life alex I love y'all. Catch you on the flip side. I'll see you peeps next time. I, I know I forgot something.